We got a body. White female. She's naked. She looks like she's been strangled. There's no defensive wounds that I can see. Her wrists and her legs have been bound. Looks like she's been dead at least. Walling. Special agent in charge, Canby. Do you know what those last two words in my title mean? Does anything about them confuse you? No, sir. Because they clearly convey to me that I am in charge of this operation. Yes, sir, you are, sir. And as the agent in charge, I clearly and succinctly gave your partner a direct order about the automobile that you are now standing in front of, did I not? Yes, sir, you did, sir, but I got that order too late. Now we have this body. Never mind that body. Listen to me, Agent Walling. Because your career and possibly the lives of a plain load of people could rely on what you do next. You're in the midst of an operation involving national security. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Good. Then I want you to stand down. You want me to leave her here? She could sit out here for days. She's already dead, Agent Walling. We can do nothing for her. But we may be able to save some people who are still alive. You get it? If you call this in, or if you pick up that man that the other members of your team are following, then our operation is blown. Because our unit does not exist. You're endangering our entire surveillance operation just by being down there. I understand. It just doesn't seem right. It may not be, but we don't have any choice. It's unrelated to our mission. Even an anonymous call is too risky. We can't have anything coming back to us, and we must not spook our suspect. I don't believe this. We must think of the greater good, Agent Walling. And that starts with operational integrity. So let things with that body take a natural course, as if we were never there, which we aren't. Yes, sir. Good. I'm glad you understand. Yeah. Unit 2, are you still with the suspect? Got him. He's on Rose, now moving east. Let him go. Get back to your post. You sure? The order comes from on high. Let him go. Rachel, it had to be done. No, it didn't. Come back now, will you? You're out there in the open. I'll be there in five minutes. Rachel, what are you doing? Come on. I have an idea. Well, get back here and button it up. I need five minutes. coming back. It's about time. Denise Babbitt. What's that? That was her name, Venable, in case you were wondering.
Central, this is 12. We have a suspicious vehicle in the south parking lot. Can you advise PD? We need officers down here. Roger that, 12. Will you hold on site? Yeah. I think you better wait right here. They made an arrest. Arrest for what? The girl in the trunk. Oh, wow. Justice prevails at last. Go ahead, read it. A 16-year-old suspected gang member was arrested Sunday in the murder of a woman whose body was found in the trunk of her car in a Santa Monica Beach parking lot. The young suspect was being held by juvenile authorities after his arrest at his home in the Rodia Gardens housing project in Watts. Police said identification of a fingerprint collected from the car led to the suspect. That's it? Even the time's buried in the back. Must be proud of yourself, risking our entire operation for that. Hmm. What? <clears throat> I know the reporter who wrote that. Jack McAvoy. Or at least I used to know him. Oh, that's nice. Why don't you call him yourself and tell him that you single-handedly and secretively put an end to the trunk caper? You know what? Why don't you just get over it, okay? Because what's done is done. They have the killer in jail, and that girl is not sitting out there in that parking lot while we watch. And I happen to think that's a good thing, Venable. Look, I'm sorry. I guess six days of sitting in this room is finally getting to me, and I just, I just don't think this thing is ever going to go down. Well, just in case it does, we're here. Yeah. Saving the world. One terrorist at a time. Yep. <laughs>